This video provides more detail on the interior skylight that was completed as part of the kitchen renovation project. It's a great feature for bringing daylight down into the center of the house from the skylight up above. You can see that we were able to center it over this antique sideboard. Underneath the skylight and directly over the arch doorway of the center hallway. Let's head upstairs to take a look at the skylight from up above. Right away, you'll notice all of the daylight coming down from the skylight on the roof. Directly underneath the skylight is a glass panel. It's resting across four floor joists. Before the interior skylight panel was installed, this section of floor was covered with original white pine planks. Looking carefully, you can see that several of these floorboards had been pulled up and replaced at an earlier time, probably to do wiring or plumbing. There are just two floorboards directly underneath the exterior skylight that were replaced with a glass panel for this project. Opening the ceiling below, you could see the exact sections of floor that needed to be removed. One thing to watch for if you do something similar is that you have cut through each of the gaps between the floorboards so that tongue and groove detail uh, doesn't interfere with the removal of the boards or crack the boards that are being left behind. Inside the ceiling, you could also see that two by eights had been nailed along each of the original oak beams. Drywall had been attached to these two by eights to create the ceiling in an earlier renovation. Obviously, we only wanted to have the original oak beams visible in the skylight area. So we simply cut away those two by eights in the new skylight area. With those out of the way, the new opening could be trimmed out and made ready for finishing. Since the drywall ceiling was hanging a couple of inches below the bottom of the original oak beams, we needed a way to transition up uh, from the ceiling to the bottom of the beams. Crown molding was used that matches the crown around the rest of the room and was the perfect uh, dimension to fill this section and step up from the ceiling to the bottom of the joists. The last piece of the puzzle was to make a frame around the skylight with this bead molding. It just lays flat on the ceiling and covers that small gap between the drywall and the bottom of the crown. Adding this molding and painting the opening white created a very finished look from the ceiling into the skylight opening. Back upstairs, the floorboards were removed to make way for the glass panel and the opening cleaned up. The five quarter inch poplar board that you see to the left is about the same thickness as the glass panel. So it could be dropped into the opening to test the fit and make sure the glass panel would align seamlessly with the floorboards. At the ends, shims were used to even up the floorboards and create a more perfect fit. This is a 7 8 inch thick laminated glass panel consisting of three layers of tempered glass, which you can see here. 
each of the four floor joists that the glass panel rests on is covered with a piece of neoprene. Uh, it gives it a little bit of cushioning. To install the panel, we simply used a couple of two by fours across the opening, laid the panel down up top, and then went below, pushed up the glass panel, and lowered it back down in place into the floor. This technique worked perfectly. So there you have it, an interior skylight made by replacing two pine floorboards with a laminated glass panel. It's lined up directly underneath the exterior skylight so that all of the daylight flooding into the house can now make its way down to the first floor. Before the renovation, you had a dark corner in the center of the house and some old built-in bookcases that were a magnet for clutter. Now, this section is transformed. The built-in bookcases are gone and an antique sideboard adds lots of kitchen storage. It's centered underneath this skylight that brings lots of natural daylight into the center of the home.